Hello, so this is going to be a lesson on a Barbecue Bob song called Barbecue Blues. And the tuning for this song is an open G tuning, so D, G, D, G, B, D. And then you'll just capo up to the 4th fret. And what I'll do is just try and get through the song as best as I can uh, once or twice through, and then get into the lesson. So, the main riff of this song is 90% of what the song will, will involve when it comes to learning it. So, the way it's actually strummed is on the right hand, you're, you can pretty much, I think, get away with just using your thumb to kind of do loose downstrokes and upstrokes. So, talking more about what's going on on the fretted hand, the way it'll, and the, and the strings are involved, are that it's going to be a bass note off of the fifth string open. Okay. Then, on the third fret of the third string, to do is start by strumming down the fifth string open. Again, that's the bass note. Then you'll strum through the rest of the strings and try and emphasize just based on how controlled you're kind of raking your thumb down. Kind of with a thumpy kind of using the kind of edge of your thumb there, the, the flesh, to get a bit of a... dragging it down. You'll bend the third fret of the third string. And then, what you'll do... is... You'll play a bit of a shuffle, I guess, on the 5th and 4th strings. And you'll be hitting the 2nd fret of that 4th string. And so, so far you'll have something like this. So, starting with the bend, where you go through starting from the 5th string. Third fret of the third string bend, and then you kind of let it breathe open, and then you'll go downstroke, upstroke, and then hit that shuffle note, and then go back to the open. Notice, I guess, after the bend, you're already down. You can kind of upstroke on the top string. And that's really how that move that Barbecue Bob uses, I think, roughly starts. And then he'll get into this move.
strumming hand, all you'll have to really think about is that thumb. And then on the fretted side again, it's quite simple. You'll start out by fretting the third fret of the second string. And if you strum down, starting from the fifth string, that's the chord that you'll play. That's what you're strumming over with your thumb. That's kind of part one. Then part two is this chord shape, where you'll be hitting the second fret of the fourth string, fourth fret of the third string, and that's it. So that's part two. Then you combine part one and part two. part one, part two, and then there's a bit of open strumming. Part one, part two, and then open. And then part one, part two, open. One, two, open. One, two, open. And then based on your strumming and the looseness of your thumb, you can kind of get different rhythms. And that's really that. Now if you combine that with how he actually started, remember with this bend. chord goes. Then he'll get into the four chord. But already 90% of the song has been learned because this part is much simpler. You'll go up to the fifth fret taking into account the cable. Bar across all six strings and then on the two frets above this bar on the top string you can kind of open and close that note. And the way he'll kind of strum it, he'll, he'll go bass, full, bass, full. It's almost like a country guitar strum. alternating bass, full, bass, full. And then when you need to hit the note, you can just let all that rigidness kind of out the window and just get that note in there. And that's really all the four chord is, so you got... So then it's pretty well just the same thing. And then on the five chord, it's just the one chord to know. It's the second fret of the third string, first fret of the second string, and then you can strum all the rest of the strings open. And then once you're done in the five chord, you can play a little kind of bass thing. Sometimes he'll go. And you can just kind of play around with the bass notes if it's something that you'd want to do because it's pretty much like in this tuning, Spanish tuning, you're pretty much, it's like you're playing in standard tuning with these two strings being the top two strings. So as you're keeping in mind making a little bass run maybe, just 
pretend that it's the top two strings of standard tuning where these are your thinnest strings and you can kind of do some pentatonic sort of things there. And then you just get right back into the riff. So the five chord again is... And then you can just do some... Or let me try that again. Five chord. And so you can see five chord, little bass thing maybe, and then back into the riff into another chorus. So that's really all there is to barbecue blues. Thank you very much for watching this lesson, and I hope to see you again soon.